Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading for January the 10th through to the 16th. If I can shuffle these cards, they're all going all over the shop. Um, interesting week. Mercury is turning retrograde at the end of this week, only at the very tail end. So we'll see what's coming in for you guys. And I'm going to uh, break the readings up this week into the three, the four elements, should I say. So we're going to start with the element of fire. I'm going to pull a card for what's motivating you, what's exciting you, what's sparking your passion or the things that you might find yourself doing this week. So let's pull some cards for the four elements, just getting a little bit of Sagittarius energy into this deck and then we shall get going. Okay, so for fire we have the moon. Okay, so... Interesting, uh, I feel like for this it may feel a little bit unfocused. It may feel a little bit clouded. Things might necessarily feel particularly clear. But this is also the card of really checking in with your intuition and listening to what that is. So I feel like it's a, a week of not... It can be frustrating, this energy of the moon coming in where it's like you want, you've got energy to put somewhere and you know, don't know exactly where to be doing this. It could feel a little bit unfocused, a little bit lost with the moon, but I do feel like it's like you're really pushing through those clouds to see what's on the other side to find some kind of clarity here. So that's what's really going to try be really inspiring you and motivating to see something clearly and to be shown things that haven't been revealed to you. So there could be, interestingly, with the moon coming out, there could be secrets that are being revealed at this moment in time as well. Uh, but I just feel like it's kind of like you could find yourself pushing up against your intuition going, show me, show me, show me, what should I be doing? And if you're not getting those answers back, you could definitely be getting frustrated. Well, look at the communication, the element of air coming in a seven of cups. So again, there's a lot of water around. It's a very watery energy and there's a lot of options and choices in front of you with this seven of cups and again you know we can see those clouds of illusion that is here some of them are real some of them aren't some of them are good and some of them are not and with this next to the moon card it makes it harder to see uh what the what is good for you and what isn't at this moment in time what the best option so i would actually say the best thing to do is to not do a lot not to make any big decisions <laughs> um not to be starting anything uh, if you're not sure exactly what the direction or what this is, uh, just sit with it for a while until this energy passes. So uh, we do have a full moon coming up uh around the 17th so we will be starting to feel that energy in this period of time and it's a very very potent strong moon. It's a moon in the sign of cancer and I'm going to have a video coming out about that uh with some readings around that particular full moon because it's very potent. So stay tuned for that. But I feel like this is where it's going to probably cloud the week and uh, it's pulling you into some into some deeper energies that makes it, uh, whilst it's a good place to be, you can transform some deeper energies. It's not the place to be up on the surface making decisions in your human world. Uh, let's look at love and relationships. We've got temperance cards. So this is this is nice. This is a Sagittarius energy coming in. This can also represent your intuition, which is kind of saying, I feel like there's a bit of conflict in some of those intuitive messages that are coming through. So the temperance card represents moderation. It represents patience. It represents balance. It represents doing something wanting a healthy balance or a healthy something healthy within a relationship this week so whether that is your own relationship with yourself or a relationship with somebody else I feel like it's very tempered so uh, moderated and this is you you know this is the card of Sagittarius coming in with the temperance so I feel like there's going to be a lot of focus on yourself and your own inner world your inner feelings because there's a lot of divine feminine coming through here with that, that moon energy so let's look Look at the, <laughs> the concrete reality, the world around you, your resources, your needs, the element of earth. What is it that, you could, that you're needing in terms of money, health, home, uh, career? So let's pull a card for... And career could definitely also be this fire energy, which I, I just think it's not the time to be making some big decisions about that. But the three of pentacles, you know, this is actually a good energy to come in. It's an earth energy that comes in around that. And this is a Taurian energy. It's around uh, self-worth. 
this is where you could be looking at how you're collaborating with other people, uh, what you've got to give within a project or within a group dynamic that's coming through here. This is a good energy to come in. I feel like you will know your self-worth. You will feel valued in some, at some point with, and it's being reflected back to you through your interaction with somebody else. Uh, so, you know, it's a sense of understanding that you've got valuable skills or something valuable to offer here with this, but it's still this moon is clouding you at this moment in time. So just be aware of that, of what this energy is of the moon taking you into the underworld, taking you into that deep emotion. So it could be a highly emotional time for you. But this Three of Pentacles is kind of saying uh, there's actually something really good here. There's something really good on, on your material earthly realm uh, that you can kind of use as a stable base. There's some so there's some success around this. The Three of Pentacles can also be around the sense so that um, you are, in terms of your skills, you're rising up, you're gaining a mastery with something. So to look at what that is here. And so it's good because I feel like it's an anchor that keeps you, makes it easier to go into some of these more intuitive energies here. So there is something good here around you that you can use as that, um, that so that when you go into that moon energy, you're feeling a little bit like you're in those under those watery realms that you can feel a little bit like there is something to connect you to the human realm, to the material world that feels like okay if I come back and visit that I'm like oh everything's okay but if I go into that moon energy where it takes me into those deep intuitive emotional realms it can feel like I'm not sure I'm not certain about some stuff so just to be aware that there might be that push kind of that pull coming in it's like definitely being shown an anchor like this three of pentacles is the anchor and this is like the 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 rope to some kind of boat that's just floating off in the ocean going, okay, where am I and what am I doing? You are supposed to be out there for reasons, uh, but those reasons are very much definitely connected to uh, your money and your work. So it's kind of like you're going out uh, and going definitely – into an interesting energy around that. So you might be getting some quite interesting dreams or intuitive messages around that. But yes, I do think that some of them may take you down the wrong path. So just to wait for that energy to pass. So let's pull a message from the universe and I'm, I'm going to use the animal energy this week. So the animal oracle and see what's coming through for Sagittarius, the message from spirit, a message from the universe, the kind of higher vibrational message coming in for you so let's see the cards aren't jumping for you at this moment Sagittarius oh oh well the hawk tried to come out just quickly and this is really about a bird's eye view a higher perspective looking at some details in your concrete world with this three of pentacles so that came out so it said uh check back in check back into how things are you even if you Check back into your material world, what's going on with your money, your resources, what's going on in that world. But I feel like you're being taken somewhere else as well. So don't be afraid to check in uh, every so often just to make sure that's okay and connect with this energy. But this is where we're seeing you as crocodile, <laughs> half you know, this is the element of water. So this is makes sense that this water, the energy of the water feels like it's stronger. It's trying to pull you. It's like a very strong current and you can't push against it, even though there is something in the human realm anchoring you here. The crocodile, you know, it's it's half land, half water. And I feel like you're kind of simmering between those two realms. And the interesting thing with the crocodile is it's an ancient creature. There's something very old that's being awoken here that's been sleeping for a long time. So there's an awakening here. And the thing with the crocodile is that the message for the crocodile is always that you are perfect the way you are. You may be feeling like you need to adapt to something or you may, this moon energy in the seven of cups is like you need to pivot and adapt and do something different and open to new options. But the crocodile is saying there's something within you that is already perfect. It's already there and you're already mastering something on a very deep level. And so that energy is going to come out stronger and stronger and stronger and to really trust that. So, yeah, it's a very powerful energy, the crocodile. It's primal. It really goes to some deep roots of uh, where of where you belong uh, 
who you are and your your place in the world. So it very much, you know, that's why I like this three of pentacles here because it does bring you back to a place where you feel valued even though these other energies are taking you out of that as well. So this is kind of part of like it's kind of like full circle, like you go off looking and searching for something and when what you actually realize you're looking for is something that's already there deep inside yourself. So this is actually a very, very beautiful energy and it's a very deep soul energy coming in that you can connect to through this moon. So it's absolutely a beautiful energy to be coming in. And yes, just be aware that you're hovering between worlds, between what is real, the concrete world, the land and the watery realms of stepping into the unknown and the emotions and the intuition. So that ne Neptunian energy that could be coming through with this. And so, yeah, very a very interesting week for you guys, Sagittarius. But what I love is right at the very centre is this, is you. And I feel like this is a, a big, deep transformation that's coming in about yourself, which is aligning you to a higher truth. So beautiful energy coming in, Sagittarius, for the week. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And if you want to find out more about what's coming in for you for 2022, the yearly forecasts are out. The link for that is in the description box below. So take care, Saggy, and look forward to seeing you next time.